the damage began near Morningside, in, uh, neighborhood of Pittsburgh, um, and continued uh, through the zoo here, uh, snapping some trees um, and uh, lofting debris enough that our radar was able to detect the debris, um, which is uh, relatively unusual. Through Kramer from the National Weather Service in Pittsburgh, he confirms a tornado did hit the Pittsburgh Zoo and Aquarium. He says the storm was shallow and compact. He cited not having much of a winter or cold air in place that's led to more ingredients for thunderstorms coming together easily this time of year. The storm at the zoo brought down a large tree on top of an SUV in the parking lot as we zoom in. Look at it all smashed up. The zoo was hosting a high school prom last night and says all guests, staff and animals are safe. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Mike Valenti has more on those scary moments. As we get here, then there's a tree on a car. Just imagine if this served as the backdrop for your prom pictures. Maybe there was a tornado here. Maybe there was a tornado. No doubt that was the talk of the night as Northgate students waited to board shuttles to get their prom started. And from waiting online to online, word traveled quickly about what people saw. That's absolutely a tornado. You can see the clouds swirling around. If I zoom in on that, you can see the debris flying around in the air. Dave Longstreth and his buddies were in a car on the Highland Park Bridge when their phones went off. The sounds of a tornado warning, a pretty timely one too, in that there was one moving 200 yards in front of them. There is debris. That's a tornado. Absolutely. Right in front of us was the touchdown. It was, it was really cool. Highlight of our <laughs> night. Yeah, for sure. It was insane. Bucket list item for sure. I mean, literally, since I was like four or five years old, I've been dreaming of seeing a tornado in real life. And that was Mike Valenti reporting. Officials say no injuries were reported and crews are working to assess the damage left behind at the zoo. It's still unclear whether gates will open this morning, but we'll be sure to let you know the zoo said it would put out an update.